Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020. This is 2020. I'm the Drunk Poker, tis beer time. Uh, stopped at a rando LCBO for something we're going to talk about maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow. But I also sat, seen this beer, and I'm like, well, I could pass up a chance to get a beer I haven't had before. From a refined fool comes Zane lost his avocado bag, a 7.6% brute IPA. No production date on it, so no clue there. But it was in the fridge, so I'll take that. This is it was one of the, the dumpiest LCBOs in Hamilton. But they had the white claw, and I had to go pick it up. But then I saw this, and I'm like, this is this was kismet, right? I was meant to have this beer. The light overhead is not working here, so we're working off a bulb. I don't know if it's is too dark. Who knows? I don't care. I want beer. Waiting for Mr. Polk to get home, making some chicken stir-fry tonight, so I thought, eh, hey, brute champagne of beers. Brute IPA. You know, pretty sure Spinny here in Hamilton and Mary made the first brute IPA in Canada, so I have had quite a few brute IPAs. Nice crystal clear. It has a very nice fruity nose. Pineapple, grapefruit. Like, it's very, very citrusy. I like that. That that gives me hope. So uh, cheers, my friends, to and the dark drinking bears. Wow, that's six seven point six. That's pretty good. Um, just trying to see if that how dry that is. So the whole point with the, the brute IPAs is brute champagne, champagne. Yeah. Would you like some champagne? Yeah. Um, is they're supposed to be super dry? That's pretty dry. Pretty dry. Not bad. Honestly, given the state of this LCBO I was at, I was just happy to see it in the fridge. Um, that's pretty good. Getting some nice citrus notes out of there. Definitely some grapefruit, some pineapple, maybe a little peach. Definitely dry at the back end. Not super bitter at all. A little bit of citrus pith on the back. Um, as for, for Brute IPA with unknown origin date and being in the LCBO it was, is pretty good. Uh, I'd like to try it fresh. Again, always with the IPAs, you want them to be fresh. But this one, um, yeah, it's pretty decent. So I'll take it. Some days, decent is as good as it's going to get. And you got to be okay with that. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your day. Now about finding Zane's avocado bag.